guys, welcome back to the channel. Those of you who have been following me for a while know that I've ordered some new pistons for the 6.3 engine and finally they arrived just the other day so I wanted to uh, show you what I got in the box. I also got the um, big end bearings for the connecting rods and the main crank bearings from Classic Center. Uh, we've got bushings, also replacement bushings that need pressing in, new bronze bushings and then honing out to fit. Uh, before we get started, this is one from the um, original motor, the 6.3, where we had the obvious little mishap with uh, oil dilution from the injection pump, I believe, uh, failed, or possibly uh, failed injectors. But uh, So that's, uh, that's what happened to that guy. Um, so let me open the box up and show you what comes in with the package. Okay, before I open the box, uh, just as a... What I thought was the best idea was to send Marley Pistons a uh, original piston with connecting rods so they can make all the pertinent measurements need be and there's no confusion there. So they took that, uh, did their measurements and sent it back pretty promptly. That went all well and they did warn me that they were running quite a bit uh, out because of COVID and all various other things going on in the world today. But I'll, as you know, I'm not in any big rush. So it took about three and a half, four months, I think. But no problem. So let's open it up and see what we get in the box. So first of all, this box, first one, contains all of the uh, wrist pins. I'll take one of these guys out and show you what we've got here. Okay, nice wrist pins. Uh, and we've got an original here. This is an original 6.3 wrist pin, as you can see. Uh, the thickness of the steel that they're using, or the material they're using, is substantially thicker. This is a 6.3 one, it does get thicker on the inside, and I think I talked about that before, but, uh, so this is a fairly weight, weighty unit. Slide fits, I've already tested these, so these obviously have to be, um, the, the bushings need to be honed to accommodate these pins. So obviously you get a set of eight of these guys. Full set of, uh, Piston rings, I won't unpack all that because you know what piston rings look like. <laughs> so, and then all the relevant information about fitting them and orientation and all that good stuff. So, so now to the pistons, obviously a set of eight of these. I'll move this box out of the way, you only have to get one out. So these are 0 0.70 over, 0 0.75 over. 103.75 from standard. Uh, there you go. They're specially coated as well. They've got the directional arrow etched in at the top here. Skirt length is a fair bit shorter. What we'll do, uh, there you go, there's side by side here. Uh, what we'll do is I'll put them on the weigh scale and show you the uh, the actual weight of the individual piston compared to one of the originals. I'll find one up here that hasn't got rings fitted so we can make a direct comparison. So let's do that. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that. I mean, looks good to me. So here we've got digital scale here. I've got it on the gram setting, set reset to zero. First of all, this is a, one, a piston from a 6.3 set that I bought in anticipation I would just need a new set of standards. But uh, I'll talk about these at the end of the video. And so it has no rings fitted, so we're just going to measure them with no rings. Standard 103 piston from the 6.3. That's 740 grams, as you can see. So that's that one. Make sure we're back to zero, and then one of the new ones. We're at 544, so that's, what is that? That is 196 grams lighter on the new pistons. So, a fair substantial amount of weight there, uh, times eight obviously, that's a fair amount of weight coming off of that uh, um, whole reciprocating assembly. So, taking in consideration that very large weight difference between the new and the old, obviously what we have to do now is um, <clears throat> we take all these new pistons down to the machine shop with everything, you know, the rings, the clips, the gudgeon pins, uh, the whole lot, and obviously the connecting rods. Now the connecting rods uh, are gonna need balancing, and that's overall weight, 
between each rod uh, weigh it as a, a whole unit let's say for instance let's say these are 800 grams for instance as a whole okay and then each end has to be weighed on a scale this end and this end and then material taken off here and I'm assuming this boss up here ground off here to essentially balance all of these and get these all matching as close as possible now whether I'll do that I'm not sure I may have the machine shop do that or I can just fiddle around with doing that so they're perfectly balanced and then those along with the pistons the gadging pins the clips the rings the bushings the bearings okay everything gets weighed as one unit okay so the whole unit gets weighed and then bobbins are made up uh, that are attached to the crankshaft um, to simulate this weight okay and then they'll spin it I think it's fairly low probably 400 rpm something like that and it's similar to a tire balancing machine they have to grind off the counterweights on the crankshaft let me go over there and I'll show you so here we are with crankshaft uh, I've started to polish some of the journals up to around or oh, 2000 grit and then we've put some metal polish on and I've polished all the journals they're all within standard spec so thankfully the crankshaft survived the oil dilution uh, okay so once they've attached the bobbins to the uh, crankshaft at the connecting rod it ends obviously they attach these bobbins to simulate and then they have to grind off of the counterweights to balance the crankshaft to those lighter pistons they will need the harmonic balancer and the flex plate at the back so they have it all as it was as it is in the engine spinning and uh, from my understanding with that much weight off of the um, pistons and this balance should you know um, should spin up really uh, very nicely and smoothly and hopefully maybe more power so that is the next thing to do um, we'll get all this down to him after he's finished honing the block to those new pistons and then I can start prepping the bot for painting and things like that and detailing and making sure it's, everything's very, very clean before I'm reassembly. Before I go, I wanted to um, offer up, I've got a set of standard 6.3 pistons, okay? They're in pretty good shape, uh, no rings on them. Uh, they, they do come with pins. I bought these in anticipation that I would uh, go back to be able to do standard but with all the scoring on the, the wall that wasn't going to be uh, something I can do so I've got a spare set of 6.3 standard 103 pistons in good shape no like I say no rings though and um, so if anyone is interested in those please contact me through the Facebook group uh, Mercedes maintenance now as far as ordering some yourself uh, not necessarily for a 6.3 but or any of the um, Mercedes uh, engines not actually uh, too painful of a price really so uh, just for full disclosure uh, I don't have anything to do with Marley pistons or what I just was just so impressed with their service talked to Adam uh, talked to Adam asked for Adam in customer service he uh, was very helpful and taught me through the whole process making sure we get what we need and like I say, I think it's best to send one of yours to them with the rod and everything and then they can do all their own measurements. They did have a bit of a laugh when they saw the size of these connecting rods of the 6.3 um, because they were convinced it was out of a diesel because <laughs> of the sheer mass of it compared to, say, a 4.5 uh, V8 Mercedes. Uh, quite a substantial rod there. Uh, so that's pretty funny, but yeah, send uh, send them. They'll send them back. I mean, it's all all good like that. And um, I say, talk to Adam, customer service, and what one eight 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 two five five one nine four two, and that is in North Carolina. Now, as far as full disclosure, I don't care telling you guys, but these. $500 deposit to get the machine in process started and uh, the show you're serious obviously and the total bill shipped and everything came to 1840 about 1840 bucks uh, 
So that's total, that included my deposit. So uh, just for under 2,000, set of eight 6.3 pistons with wrist pins, brand new rings, and uh, I think that's a great deal myself. Um, so um, yeah, if you're interested, and also another thing, because they have now the measurements of the 6.3 piston standard, they have that all measured. So if you are looking to order 6.3 pistons in whatever size you need they already have the information there you can always say John from Mercedes maintenance the ones that are ordered so you probably wouldn't have to send your rod and piston to them just to order them up uh, whatever size you want so anyway I really appreciate you watching guys and it's <clears throat> still going to be a while until the assembly of the engine because we've got to take the uh, injection pump up to oh what's his name can't think of the name, the injection place, about three hours from here. We'll do a little drive up there and uh, uh, I'll, I'll get that into him and he'll rebuild that, check that, make sure that's all, all good. And also the injectors as well, clean and make sure they're operating to the way they should. So thanks a lot for watching guys. In the next video, I'm really not sure what I'll be doing. I may jump back on the 4.5 to carry on with the subframe mounts. Remember the last video we found that rotten bolt and I'm planning on lowering the subframe, pulling the engine mounts out, and replacing the subframe mounts all in the same, all at the same time. Uh, I think that makes the most sense while I'm under there. And then we'll get the steering pump back on, and then that back on the road for the time being. I will have to wait to do any of the bodywork damage because I want to get cracking, getting the SL ready for sale, and also get back on the 6.3 again. And, get moving. So thanks all for watching guys. Please hit like, share, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye bye.